Well, it's the uh, final day of the river season, so I've finished work. I've got a couple of hours to spend down here on my local river. Um, I've just walked down to the swim, and it, it looked absolutely stuffed with uh, small chub. So hopefully we should be in for a bite or two. Um, it's that clear now. I can actually see the bottom here, which is must be the first time in a long time. Um, so we'll get set up, get cast in, and uh, see what we can do. Uh, but first, uh, I had a little trip over to a different river yesterday, some perch fishing, so let's have a little look at what went on there, and then we'll get back to this. Okay, so I'm into a fish. Not sure what it is yet. Nothing too big. Let's just get up off my feet. Oh, it's a big perch. I said nothing too big, but it's a cracking perch. And as I said, I've not got a landing net, so I'm gonna have to hand line it in. Oh, it's a whacking perch. Come on, mate. Let's get the line, and then we'll get you in. Oh my God, that's a beast! And it's come off. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Lost it. That was definitely a two-pound perch. Shit in hell. Oh, f well, I've just lost uh, a definite for me personal best perch. Uh, cracking bite, cracking fight from it. Same as I say, I've got no landing net, forgot the bloody thing at home. So, uh, yeah, really gutted about that. So, it's sort of like still about half past seven in the morning. I'm gonna have to have a look at um, what tackle shops around. I've got the landing net handle, just not got the bloody head. So, I'll have to go and get one from somewhere. Okay, I've uh, just spotted another perch down under these uh, tree roots. Yeah, and he's still there, uh, keeps popping out. So, uh, I'm going to put a worm on and uh, just free line a worm, see if we can tempt him. That's it. Well, I've just ducked another decent perch this time. I've got the landing net with me. So let's get him in. We'll have a better look at him. Come on, little bugger. That's it. That is a cracker. Oh. <coughs> Mr. Ender Worm. But how about that for a perch? for a fish. Okay, so uh, there we go. One pound twelve. Makes up a little bit for that one uh, I lost this morning. But that one was a lot bigger. That was definitely a PB perch. But yeah, I'm more than happy with this one. Walk down, uh, just walk down to the swim. There's some um, roots coming off this tree. And uh, it was just sat under there, so just popped a worm on the hook, no no weight whatsoever, dangled it, in, put it in front of him, and uh, took it straight away. So, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so let's get us first cast in. I apologise for the sun, it's right in my face, there's not much I can do about it. I'm just going to, because it's so clear, I've just dropped into that uh, deeper spot further out. Um, there were loads of chub in the swim when I got down here, but they've all disappeared. Um, yeah, so we'll just see what we can get in that deeper area, whether they have 
moved into there or moved out of the swim completely, I don't know. We'll have a look, see what we can get. Had a bite then. Missed it completely. There we go. Perch. So there's definitely fish here. It's a lovely, uh, lovely looking little fish for first casting. There we go. Another perch, I think. It's fighting well. Yeah. Really good watching them fight in this clear water. So, there's another perch. Tiny little one. Tiny little fish. But absolutely gorgeous. Let's put him back. And today I'm using uh, what I found perfect for these tight little swims with all the overhead branches. I've purposely uh, gone out and bought a small lure rod, uh, rated five to 20 grams. And it's a perfect little float rod for this river, so. Breaks down really small to carry around. and it's absolutely brilliant for all this tight cover that I've got here. There we go, that's a better fish. Oh, that is a better fish. Looks like a really nice perch. Yeah, much better fish. Come on, let's have you in. Stop diving, you're coming to my net. There we go, that's a lovely fish. There you go, lovely perch for this river, that's really nice. Well, just ducked another fish, and uh, it's one of my favourites, a gudgeon, and what a gudgeon it is. That is a really, really good gudgeon. Get the hook out of him, there we go. Little bugger snaffled, snaffled my maggot. But yeah, lovely little gudgeon there. Really nicely coloured. Really nice little fish. Love catching these. You don't get so many of them nowadays, so when you do, it's a bonus. He's got his little underslung mouth there for feeding on the bottom. I'm getting popped back in. Watch where he goes. Straight off down the side of the uh, wall of the bank. Straight down to the, I can still see him just there on the bottom. Hiding. Right, well, we've got um, a roach on. Swing him in. Decent roach as well. So that's the third species for today. Nice little roach. Really are uh, in cracking condition, a lot of the fish out of here. We'll have a, another cast in once we've popped him back. And there he goes, he just disappeared. I didn't see him go, he rocketed off. Right, well, this swim's uh, died to death. Can't seem to buy a bite anyhow now, so uh, I'm gonna give it a rest and move on up to the next hole upstream see if we can get any fish from there. Yes, got something on. What is it? 
coming upstream fairly well. Perch by the look of it. Oh no, chub. Little chub. There we go. Little chub. First cast. There he is. Lovely little fish. Let's get him put back. Oh, now that is a nice fish. <coughs> That's fighting really well. It's like a chub. Swing him in. It's a little bit big to be swinging, but I'm going to do it anyway. So here we go. There you go. Cracking chub in that last of the winter sun. Let me get the hook out. And there we go. Lovely looking fish.